So I'm doing a little bit of travel right now, and this is like the best place that I had to film, but there's this like creepy mannequin in the background. And I'm not sure, wait, I have an idea. There, we just clementified it. What's up everybody, how's it going? So in this video, we're gonna be doing a succinct, high-level overview of coding boot camps, giving you everything that you need to know about coding boot camps. Now, as a lot of you already know, I myself went to a coding boot camp right after college back in 2016. I had no prior coding experience, and just a few months after the coding boot camp, I was hired as a software engineer at Google. So this is a topic that I'm particularly interested in, and I get so many questions about this topic. So many questions, so this is why I'm making this video. So we are gonna do this video in a bite-sized Q&A style with the first First question being, what is a coding bootcamp? And the answer is simple. A coding bootcamp is a company that teaches you how to code in anywhere between three and nine months, such that at the end of those three to nine months, you will be employable as a software engineer or some other coding-related role. Can you actually go from never having written a line of code in your life to being hired as a software engineer by just going through, say, three-month coding bootcamp? And the answer is yes. Absolutely, yes. If there's one thing that you take away from this video, let it be the answer to this question. And I think it's very important because I see so many people out there who like to criticize coding boot camps and discourage people from going to coding boot camps because they claim that you cannot learn to code in just three months or just six months. That it's just impossible. It's all false advertising. And that's just not true. I mean, I am a living, breathing example that it is possible. I also know countless other people, either in person or whom I've heard of, who've done the same thing, who work at all kinds of companies now after having gone through a coding boot camp with no prior coding experience, so it is possible. Of course, as with everything in life, there are no guarantees because landing a job is very dependent on the individual applying to the job, but it is possible. Are all coding boot camps the same? No, definitely not. First of all, a lot of coding boot camps these days tend to specialize in certain subfields of software engineering, so it's not uncommon to see coding boot camps that only teach you data science, or coding boot camps that only teach you mobile engineering. But on top of that, at the end of the day, coding boot camps are companies, and companies are run differently. Some coding boot camps will want to teach you a lot more material in their curriculum, so they'll cram a lot more and teach it maybe at a little more superficial level. For instance, they'll try to teach you three different programming languages, whereas some will only focus on one programming language and try to be a bit more focused, with a bit more depth rather than breadth. Here's a very popular question that I get asked. Given that there's so many coding boot camps and that they're not at all all the same, what type of coding boot camp would I recommend to a complete beginner? Someone who has perhaps never written a line of code in their life, someone who wants to enter the software engineering field but has no idea what they want to do in it beyond just you know, coding. And here, perhaps I'm biased because this is the type of coding boot camp that I went to, but I would really, really recommend a coding boot camp that teaches full stack JavaScript. The reason being is that full stack JavaScript will equip you with the widest set of software engineering skills that will then allow you to get into whatever sort of subfield of software engineering that you realize you prefer later on. JavaScript will teach you about the front end. You'll need JavaScript if you ever want to get into the front end. And you'll learn about popular frameworks like React or Angular or Vue. But JavaScript will also teach you about the back end, and you'll be able to work in a back end setting because Node.js is a pretty popular sort of back end uh, language these days. Now, of course, if you're someone who knows that they want to get into data science, for instance, then by all means go to a data science bootcamp. But if you're someone who has no idea what they want to do, you just want to get into coding or software engineering, full stack JavaScript is where it's at. Going off of the previous question, what will a full stack JavaScript coding bootcamp actually teach you? Well, it'll teach you the fundamentals of programming, and this will of course be done in JavaScript. This is going to be stuff like loops and conditional statements and functions, basically everything that you need to actually write code. And this will be a very transferable skill, because even though it'll be taught in JavaScript, you'll then be able to teach yourself other programming languages like Python or C++ on your own. On top of that, it'll equip you with everything that you really need to build a web app 
and to be employable as a full stack software engineer. So this will be stuff like front end frameworks like React and Angular. It'll be stuff like database knowledge that you'll need for a web app, back end knowledge, right? How to spin up a server, how to design an API at a fundamental level, version control with Git and GitHub, how to navigate a Unix shell, right? In your terminal. It'll teach you all those things, but then it won't go beyond that, right? It will not equip you with very specialized knowledge about let's say machine learning or super advanced front-end skills. It'll give you what you need to be employable, but it won't go beyond that. Will it teach you to do a one-handed cut with cards like this? No. Will it teach you to do a one-handed cut with cards like this? No. How much does a coding boot camp cost? Well, there are two different, very popular cost models out there that most coding boot camps adopt. The first one is an upfront payment model. This is the one that I did. This is very standard. The customer pays a one time fee for the service that the coding boot camp provides, no strings attached. And this is typically anywhere between 12,000 and 20,000 US dollars. I would say that the better boot camps out there tend to charge in the upper range of that range. So you should expect north of 16,000. US dollars, in my opinion, for a good coding bootcamp. The second cost model that's very popular out there is what's called the deferred payment model or the income share agreement. You may have heard of that. That is when, as the customer, you pay nothing up front nothing, but you agree that when you graduate from the coding bootcamp and when you land a job, typically it's only after you land a job in the software engineering industry, you will pay some amount to the coding bootcamp, either a fixed amount or maybe a percentage of your first and second year salary. And so this is almost always going to be a far greater amount than what you would have paid had you done the upfront cost. I think a lot of popular coding bootcamps out there that do this model will charge somewhere around 17% of your first and second year salary. And typically they'll cap it at around $30,000, but that's still almost double what you would have paid if you had gone with an upfront option. Is one of these cost models objectively better than the other? Well, that really depends on the individual. I think that the deferred tuition model is very appealing because it inherently has far less risk than the upfront cost model. However, you are setting yourself up to have to pay a lot more for the coding bootcamp just because of the nature of that cost model. And on top of that, you're going to be getting into a sort of chained relationship with the coding bootcamp, which might turn some people off. On the other hand, what's really good about the deferred tuition model, apart from the fact that there's little risk, is that the coding bootcamp will be much more incentivized to help you land a job afterwards because their sort of livelihood, their money, making their money is going to depend on whether or not you get a job. Whereas with the upfront model, that doesn't really matter to the coding bootcamp anymore. They've already gotten their money. Of course, they want to have a better sort of brand image, so they want you to be placed, but it's not the same kind of incentive. This brings me to the next question, which is, do coding boot camps actually help you land a job? And the answer here is sort of, because on the one hand, coding boot camps certainly help you in the entire job process. They'll help you write out your resume. They'll help you build up your LinkedIn presence. They'll give you pointers. They might even connect you with alumni or with some companies that they're partnered with. However, they will not give you jobs on a silver platter. It's not like you will be fed into companies just like that. For instance, if you take Google, you are by no means guaranteed a job at Google by going to a coding bootcamp. A lot of it at the end of the day will be dependent on the individual, meaning on you, and you should be warned that you will have a tough job application process just like anybody else in this field. How much of a daily time commitment is a coding bootcamp? Well, if we're talking about a full-time immersive coding bootcamp as opposed to a part-time coding bootcamp, and there are a lot of bootcamps out there that offer part-time programs that are typically in the evenings for only a few hours every evening or maybe on the weekends. But if we're talking about a full-time one, it is almost always just like a full-time job, so about eight hours of structured work per day, nine to five or 10 to six. Maybe sometimes there's like an optional weekend day where you can come into class. However, I would really recommend if you do decide to do a coding bootcamp, a full-time coding bootcamp, that you put way more than just eight hours per day doing coding related stuff. In my opinion, because a coding bootcamp is such a big investment, both financially and from, from a time point of view, I think that you should be doing a lot more than eight hours a day. I was doing something like 14 to 16 hour days during my coding bootcamp just to really live and breathe coding and really maximize your learning potential. Are coding bootcamps looked down upon? And if you do attend a coding bootcamp, should you hide it from your resume? 
Well, to the first question, I would say that most companies out there hiring software engineers do not look down upon coding boot camps or coding boot camp grads. In 2019 right now, we've got a big shift kind of moving away from traditional college education. I think that this is especially true in the computer science industry or the software engineering industry. Coding boot camps as an industry is super fast growing. If you look at the number of coding boot camps and coding boot camp grads back in say 2013 versus now in 2019, it's just crazy. And so overall, I would say they're not looked down upon, especially at big companies like Google. I know of over a dozen people who worked at Google and who went to coding boot camps. So I think that really this is not something that people should be worried about. And then as far as the second question of should you hide it from your resume, I certainly know a few people from my coding boot camp, for instance, who kind of felt that way and wanted to hide it from their resume. I never did. I kind of embraced it. That's why my coding bootcamp is on my resume. It's on my LinkedIn. It's my latest education piece on my LinkedIn or on my resume. So it's even hiding the fact that I went to an Ivy League college, for instance, because I think that, hey, I went to a coding bootcamp. It's part of who I am. I'm just gonna display it. I'm not gonna be ashamed of it. Would I recommend that someone who already has a computer science degree or who is currently studying for a computer science degree attend a coding boot camp? This is really gonna depend on the individual and on the circumstances around that individual. I think that for instance, if you are currently in college studying computer science and you are maybe at the end of your freshman or sophomore year and you don't have an internship lined up, going to a coding boot camp during the summer would be a great use of your time. It would teach teach you a lot of sort of practical software engineering skills that would complement your CS degree a lot. If you are someone, on the other hand, who's been out of college for a few years and has a CS degree and maybe already works in the industry, I'm not really sure that a boot camp or coding boot camp will be that valuable to you. You really have to ask yourself what skills you are looking to learn that you don't already have or that you can't already teach yourself with the CS knowledge that you have, because the first few weeks of a coding boot camp where you're learning the fundamentals of, let's say, programming are going to be kind of useless to you. And if you're really only going to the coding boot camp to maybe get some project experience under your belt, ask yourself truthfully if that's really worth, you know, let's say $17,000 to you. Because I think that, you know, that's something that you might be able to do on your own. But again, it really depends on the individual. I have seen people who had computer science degrees who got a lot of their coding boot camps even after having been coding for a while and maybe worked one job in the industry. Are you ready to apply for jobs and to nail the coding interviews immediately after you graduate from a coding boot camp? I would argue that no, you are not. And the reason is that the skill required to do very well in coding interviews, especially the types of coding interviews that big tech companies give, is a very unique one. And it's not one that is the primary focus of a coding boot camp or of most coding boot camps. And to be honest, there are coding boot camps out there that specialize in coding interview prep. There are six week coding boot camps out there that only focus on coding interview prep and they're geared towards people who've already done, for instance, a normal coding boot camp. So that should be indicative of the fact that it takes a lot of time to prepare for coding interviews or a lot more effort rather, not necessarily time because you can condense it if you just do a lot of preparation per day. And with that, I've, I would of course recommend that you check out algoexpert.io, my company. We've gotten tons of super positive feedback lately especially, so check it out if you're preparing for your coding interview Views, and we've decided to give a discount to people who discover Algo Expert from my YouTube channel. So use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, if you want a discount on Algo Expert. Finally, what coding bootcamp did I attend? I attended Full Stack Academy in New York City. That's gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it informative. If you did, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any other questions about coding boot camps, ask me in the comments. I'm gonna be making a lot more coding boot camp videos in the future. I'll make sure to address them there. And I will leave you with a few parting words from a review that I wrote on Google about Full Stack Academy. Full Stack Academy is by all measures the best investment I have made to date, and I would wholeheartedly recommend to anybody considering it, especially those with little to no prior programming knowledge. I will note, however, that hard, consistent, and dedicated individual work is a must if you want to make the most out of the full stack investment. Ultimately, as with anything in life, the more work you put into the program, the greater the rewards you will reap from it. See you in the next video.